my lovelies, I'm Jen and this is Crifty Crafty. Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to show you how we can get a pattern into design space in terms of our maker. So as you all know, uh, PDFs are, we're not able to upload PDF files. Uh, and most patterns come in a PDF format. But also most patterns have a printable uh, pattern that goes with it as well. Uh, and we are able to upload them. So there's lots of sites that you can get patterns from. One of my favorite ones to use is Craftsy. So if we go to Sew, and then we go to Patterns, you'll see that we've got lots of patterns on here. We've got skill level, technique, made for, clothing. There's lots of paid ones. But if we scroll down, you see that we've got under £10, under £5 and free. So we're going to go into free patterns. Now a lot of patterns will have a printable uh, pattern with them. Um, but there's also a fair amount that don't. And if they're basic shapes like this uh, or a bag, just a normal shaped bag, most of the time, things like this, they won't have the printable pattern pieces with them because they're basic shapes. So it's still worth coming on here and having a look because you can get the basic shapes. You can look at how they're made because they all come with, um, in terms of patterns, they all come with how you put them together. So if you can recreate the basic shape in design space, uh, you'll be able to follow the pattern instructions. So you'll still be able to make pieces like this even if it doesn't come with a printable pattern because they're just basic pattern shapes. Uh, so we're going to go and find one that is not a basic shape. But you can see here we've got burp cloths, we've got uh, baby shoes. So we're just going to go through and have a look. There's bags. Uh, there's clutch bags, there's pillows. You know, we don't need kind of templates for pillows. We can do those ourselves. And even so much with the bags, we can do those ourselves. We just need the instructions. So they're still worth going on and having a look for in terms of the instructions. So you can see we've got lots and lots. We've got bandana bibs. Uh, we've got glove, hold glove holders, oven gloves. Uh, there's so much that you can do. I want to look at this adult sleep mask uh, just because it's a nice simple pattern. Uh, so all we do is we go to download pattern and it will ask you to download it. So we'll give it a download. So once your pattern is downloaded, you're able to open it and it will open as a PDF. So you can see here, this is our pattern. And it goes through and it tells us what we need uh, and it's going to tell us exactly how we're going to make it. So you can see all our instructions there. And they're really detailed, great instructions as well. So that's fantastic. And if we scroll all the way down, you'll see that we've got our template. So we're going to go to our search bar and get our snipping tool. We're just going to go to new and then we're going to drag down and we want our one inch test square uh, because that will allow us to size it up in design space. Although you can obviously size it up yourself just by measuring. So then we're going to go and save this. So our files all saved. So we're going to go to upload image and browse. You can see that our mask is there, so we're just going to open it. And I'm going to save it as a complex image just to keep all the lines quite nice. And with images like this, you can save them as any. We could save it as simple, but I'm just going to save it as a complex so that it stays exactly as it is. So we're going to go to continue and we're just going to click around. We want to leave this as it is because we just want to cut out the outline. And again, with our one inch square piece, we're just going to leave that as it is. 
So we're going to go to continue, save as a cut image and go to save. So now we're just going to click on it and insert image. So now we're just going to go in and rotate it. And then we're just going to size our square up to an inch or roughly an inch. About there. We're then going to go into, oh, not into images. We're going to go into shapes. We're going to grab a square. We're just going to resize it. We're going to go in and slice. And then get rid of those. And you're then able to size up your pattern piece. Then you would go to make it. And we would cut in our fabric that we wanted. And we'd then be able to go back into our PDF and follow the instructions so that we can then assemble our eye mask or whatever it is that you're doing. And if you've got several pattern pieces, you would just slice them from each other. But I would recommend sizing them all as one image first, especially if they come with your inch square. Uh, and most of them do. I would certainly recommend that. So as I say, unfortunately, at the moment, we are unable to upload the images as PDF. So we do have to kind of go through this rigmarole of having them as images and then uploading them as images and I'm sure that in the future uh, Cricut will look at design space being able to have uploaded PDF patterns uh, because it would make life a lot easier uh, but for the moment this is a way of getting around it and it's a pretty good way of getting around it most as I say patterns that aren't basic shapes will have a printable pattern with it uh, so you'd be able to upload that as a normal image. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. Please do like, follow and leave any comments and I'll see you all again soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you all next time. Please do subscribe, like and comment below. Bye.